I was gonna take the day off from doing videos and just rest, but it's such a beautiful day. Don't you agree? Look at the sky. It's so beautiful. I can't stay inside and rest. So I had a thought and I've been wanting to do a follow-up on the Elicity battery box. So as we know, it has a built-in MPPT charge controller, but it's only like 10 amps. So you're gonna get like 100, 120, maybe 130 watts. So which is one of these little toy panels. And if you want to use big boy panels, like these guys, these 435 watt panels, well, you're gonna need something a little stronger than the little 10 amp MPPT. So this would, would be the cable that you would use for their built-in. But for a little bit of money, you can just buy one of these 40 amp MPPT, build you up a cable. So I've got a cable here that has the little 50 amp Anderson kind of connector. And you'll want to use like an 8 gauge or a 6 gauge wire to carry the 40 amps of this guy. We can increase the solar capacity with just an external solar charge controller. It's so simple. Build you up the cable, plug it in to the Licity box, turn the battery on. Here we are. This guy's booting up. Now we can plug some solar in. look at this we're getting 530 watts coming in and inside this thing I've got a Bluetooth battery and I'll show you the battery that I've got in here in a little bit so he shows up as Yabo for whatever reason <laughs> and there he is so we're charging 27 amps into this guy uh, it's showing 360 watts. Oh, yeah. I think it's because he's full. Uh, so the, the power is going down. But if we can use that power. Let's turn on the inverter. Inverter's on. Check this out. Let's plug in this AC. AC's on. So now we'll see that uh, we'll begin using power. It shows that we're using 500, 600 watts right now, 733. And this actually will ramp down because the AC, when it starts up, it slowly ramps up and then it'll, it'll ramp down because I've got it on kind of the lower setting. But as you can see on this, we're doing uh, 555 watts. There we go. Now we're starting to come down in the wattage on the AC. And so now we're, we're actually putting power into the battery instead of pulling it out from, from the AC. Yeah, so right now the air conditioner is using 460 watts. We're putting in 565 from the solar. And then we've got a net positive of 100 and some odd watts going in to the battery. So guys, we are completely running AC off the, the solar from outside, 100% free. And since there's a 170 amp hour battery in this guy, even after the sun goes down and we're not pulling in any more so solar, the uh, AC will continue to run. For how long? Well, we can get an estimate actually. So let's unplug the solar power and the bms app can give us an estimate it says 10 hours and 30 minutes at this moment i don't think that's correct yet i think it needs to have a little bit more time to figure that out okay now we've gone down to eight hours and 39 minutes i still think that's a little high yeah it's still averaging out so it's down to seven hours and 30 minutes six hours 30 minutes yeah so it's going to average down and then we'll we'll let it settle in and we'll see what its estimate is here in a little bit all right, so it's had a little bit of time to average that out, and it's saying uh, about four and a half hours uh, this battery will run the AC. And that's about right, because if it's a 170 amp hour battery and we're pulling roughly 38 amps, if you divide that, that goes in about 
four and a half times. So yeah, roughly about four and a half hours. So that might comfortably get you through the night. Just uh, depends on how hot the area is that you're in. The other thing about this Solicity box is you can expand it. You could put another battery. You could just grab you another lithium battery, build you up a cable, and plug it right in. If you bought the capability of this box in one of those pre-built solar power stations, you're going to pay so much more money. Let's, pl let's plug our solar back in. And just so you know that the AC is actually working, I want to show you. 57, 56, and it's hot. It's hot out. Let's see. Like 99 on the concrete there. Yeah, it's a hot day out. All right, so I actually want to sh open this up and show you the battery that I'm using in there. I think it's the perfect battery that gets you the most capacity, and it also has the Bluetooth. Well, okay, once you get that strap on, it's really hard to get off. Anyways, we'll just move it to the side. So it's the, the talent cell. It's the same size as, you know, what we're used to. It's exactly the same size as this 100 amp hour battery, but it's 170 amp hour. And I have verified it. I've, I've, got, a, I've got a video where I test this battery and it does pull full capacity. It's such a great deal and it has Bluetooth. To me, this is the this is the perfect battery for this. I'll give you links. I'll give you links to this. I'll give you all the links. But yeah, this is such a cool setup. You know, you could even uh, run a larger charge controller. You can do up to 50 amps uh, through these smaller plugs, but you can do up to 175 amp <laughs> through this larger plug. I don't know if I'd push it that far. I don't know that the cables in here are really going to handle 175 amp. That might be a 175 amp surge. I probably wouldn't push it past more than, I don't know, 80 or 100 amps. But you could do a larger charge control even still. You know, you can get these charge controllers in 60 amp versions and even, I think, 80 or 100 or even more. And if you just need a whole lot more solar, you can plug them in. Or you could plug in multiple charge controllers. Uh, you, I, you could probably still even use the internal one. So if you had a, a small panel that you want to add just to boost it. But yeah, there you go, guys. I just wanted to revisit this thing. I haven't, uh, uh, it was a very popular video and a lot of people liked this. And I think a lot of people bought this box and I haven't heard anybody complain. So if you guys have had any problems with this, will you please let us know? But so far, I haven't heard anybody say anything negative. But the value and the expandability of this thing is just amazing. All right, guys, so that's a quick video. And I uh, hope you're having a good Sunday. I am. It's a beautiful day out. I'm going to uh, try to get out and get a little bit of sun. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.